guys i hope everybody's having a fantastic day whether you're watching this video in the morning in the afternoon or in the evening i'm glad you're here it is new year's eve day when i'm recording this and this is a year end i've actually got two more coming today that i'll film but they won't air before the new year but they're unboxing videos that we'll do full reviews on down the road just going to ask you real quickly if you haven't Please subscribe if you like my content. If not, that's fine. Just stop by and watch it whenever you want to. I am glad you're here, and I enjoy having y'all um, stop in and check out the knives that we're looking at. So what I'm going to do today is use the Boker Barlow BFF as an unboxing video. This particular knife, believe it or not, I found on Amazon. And this is something that had interested me for a while. I kind of expected it to come in a box, but hey, some of the coolest knives I've gotten didn't come in a box. So I have got a sheath ordered for this knife from Artemis Kydex, which is a Kydex holster company or sheath company and holster company. What we've got in here is some troll candy, tops knives, certificate of authenticity, made in the USA, and then our made in the USA label there. And what we have here is uh, a little whistle and a leather sheath. <whistles> That's what that is. Little leather sheath, a great, well-made sheath, but it's not my jam in terms of the way I carry on my belt. I don't carry traditional like that. So the Kydex sheath that I've got coming will allow me to carry this knife in a variety of different ways. And what this knife is, is it's part of my descent into fixed blade madness, finding an EDC knife that I like to carry alongside of my folder um, and when I saw this little knife on one website that had it out of stock I fell in love with it and I'll tell you why and this is just my first impressions and what drew me to this knife it's a USA made knife it's made out of 154 cm it's a tops knife it's called the bull trout it has a micarta handle full tang construction, super deep jimping, fantastic grip. The way that the grip that's neutral, that has this choil area, I've got medium to large size hands, but I would imagine sausage fingers could control this little knife with little to no problem at all. So from a carry, how would I ideally carry this knife? I would probably carry it in a Kydex sheath, either dropped in my pocket with an ulti clip or horizontally on my belt. That's how I carry. I've got today the Barlow in my left pocket, and then I've got the little micro one on my belt. So I've gone from carrying one knife to carrying three knives just because I've really taken a liking to uh, to these EDC fixed blades and I keep having awesome members of the community draw my attention to knives that I'm not aware of and I appreciate that. On first impression on the bull trout, it's super sharp, looks super cool. I hate the billboarding, don't care about that. I like the stone washing on the blade but the billboarding's kind of over the top. I don't mind the USA there, I don't mind the steel there. I don't need to know it's a bull trout but we've all had that discussion. It's got a nice little lanyard lube there or lanyard tube there if you wanted to put this on a lanyard again the jimping and that finger choil i mean the jimping's aggressive guys so much so that it's if i push down it hurts my finger if i was wearing a glove it would by all means keep me locked into that handle and i would think from a skinner to just the way I use it in urban everyday environment as a cutter. It's just a tall flat grind um, with a real nice cutting geometry. 
it's uh, it's small. Let's see how small it is. Let's break out our impossible to read NAFCO Ben Banter's titanium ruler that I've come to love. So I just have to look at it at an angle because it's a six inch ruler and I've got to find out where my big lines are. So from this angle, the blade is coming in at two and three quarters to the end of that micarta. And then the micarta handle without the choil is right at three and a quarter. If I take my grip from inside the choil to the end of the handle, I've got about three and a half inches right here. So that is, uh, you know, much bigger than what the handle specs. The overall length of this little knife is going to be just a smidge over six inches. So that's it laying beside the Ben Banters titanium ruler. That's it laying beside the Boker Barlow BFF, and that is it laying beside the MKM Micro, Micro 1 actually. So guys, my uh, descent into fixed blade madness continues. I'm so glad y'all stopped by for that unboxing. I've got more content coming up. Tomorrow I'm going to release, which will be New Year's Day, my favorite knives of 2022. And those are going to be strictly from my collection. They're going to be knives that I bought, knives that I carry, knives that I love. Some of them might be familiar, some of them might not be. It'll probably be one of my longer videos. But I look forward to sharing that with you. I look forward to sharing the upcoming unboxings as I add to the collection. And I so appreciate you looking out for the guy or gal to your left, looking out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Make the community strong. Make the community yours. Be part of the community. Be vocal in the community. Know that people in communities have different opinions sometimes. And what's great about our community is we embrace those differences. We learn from those differences. And the best way to learn from someone's differences or something you need to understand is to have civil conversations. That's why I always say choose debate over hate and go forward with love in your heart. I love you all. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.